Hey everyone, it's Joe. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. I have a very exciting video. I've actually been holding onto this footage for almost two months. I just haven't had a chance to getting around to editing it, but I'm so happy to share my Plotter 5th Anniversary Haul and first impressions. I purchased this about October, early October, um, and I got here about October 13th, and I'm really excited to share you this haul. But again, I just need to preface this by saying that, you know, there's been a lot of hauls on this video, and that is not not to say that you need to haul new items to feel part of the community even just watching these videos and journaling with whatever system that you have is enough Ooh. okay certification nice nice oh my gosh Ooh. Uh. Oh, I can smell it. Ooh, it smells good. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm sick right now and I can still smell the leather. Wow. So pretty. Oh, I got some of the, uh, a little bit of the tiger stripes. So this is the Lichio leather. The the green fifth anniversary edition plotter in the bible size the leashio leather is like the top of the line leather uses the leather on the shoulder of the cow it has rose gold finishing so pretty it smells so good there's antique gold um like printing on here it's pretty faint but I don't know, it kind of adds to the charm and feel of it, and it just says Creativity takes courage. Cheers to plotters who shape the future. Fifth anniversary limited edition. Draw today, shape tomorrow. I love that mission statement. And these were just in there as like little cards, I guess, to protect the rings and also the leather. And then, yeah, there's just the, the different things that come with it. I really like the branding of plotter. I love the orange and the, the pink okay let's take this out so pretty I think I'm gonna let voiceover job continue because current job is very sick and uh, sounds he sounds can well, I sound congested and I might cough at any moment so voiceover job will continue in the future Thank you, past Sick Job, for telling us about the different details of the plotter ring organizer. Uh, but there's other things that came with my package. This was actually a free gift, which is awesome. I love a good freebie uh, from brands and from companies. This one is a free gift with purchase. Um, is it a necklace? Is it a keychain? I don't actually know. It comes with this nice leather cord, but it's the same metal that's on the spine of the plotter uh, ring organizer. This is the fifth edition one, so it has the rose gold, and I believe all the Lichio leather binders have the rose gold finishings, but I think this is super cool. Someone said it's like a peanut butter stir. I think it's Crystal uh, Pink Pearl from Twitch, which makes me laugh because now every time I like look at that uh, free gift, I'm like, ah. Oh, it's for, for stirring peanut butter, but I'm pretty sure that's not the, the use case. Or is it? We'll never know. Um, if you got a free um, GIF, what are you using it for? The next thing that I purchased is this paper divider set. I really, really, really wanted this because it's letterpress, and I'm a sucker for anything letterpress. If you don't know what letterpress is, it's like the, I was going to say ancient, but I think it's, that's the wrong term. It's the, uh, I guess, older uh, technology of printing where you use um, these large metal dies to um, imprint um, a deboss with some ink on paper so there's um, a lovely texture to this you can actually feel the print um, which is very different to how we print things nowadays a lot of the ink just is on the surface of you know our paper but this actually just goes deeper into the paper and it's debossed into the paper which i think is super cool this is just cardstock it's not like clear plastic or like laminated plastic which a lot of like ring organizer dividers are made out of it's kind of made from like plastic materials this is paper so it's not super super like 
durable but it's still durable enough and and sturdy enough to like use as a ring organizer i uh sorry ring organizer divider i just have to be a little bit more careful about this and then this is one of the awesome things about the plotter system i don't know if you know much about it but they have these folders called project managers and they did a special set for the fifth anniversary in these uh colors this bright yellow this beige this dark slate gray this forest green and this lovely navy um um, and the thing that I like about this is that it has like a Gantt tracker chart in the uh, inside, but it has these to-do lists on the back. So you can actually track your project, whatever it may be, on this actual folder, but you can actually keep your actual project inside the folder at the same time so um you would just like i'm showing you right now add the sheets that you want to keep in your folder and then that stays in um, your ring organizer all bundled up and if you're working it with like sensitive material or confidential material i, I mean i work as a teacher so sometimes well there, all the time there's like confidential uh, information it's nice to keep it like safe and hidden in like a folder like this and so i am going to be using um these project managers managers in that um, regard but you can also uh, use it just as a way to actually manage um, larger projects just like the name of uh, this accessory um, i actually am playing around with having one for job's journal one for um, work uh, i'm still trying to play around with my um I guess planning system in here because um, I want to be really ambitious and just use one plotter organizer for both my work uh, stuff and also my uh, Job's journal stuff and actually having you know separate calendars um, for each but having it all in one system so when I carry it I just have everything with me I've never done anything like that the last time I did that was when I first started um, journaling and planning um, in 2015 in like a traveler's notebook um, but yeah I will update you once I have my solid setup for this um, down pat it's been two months and I still don't really know my setup for this uh, but you know we still have a few months until the start of the new year uh, but this is the next item I absolutely love this and i am kicking myself because i thought i bought two of these but this is the five i was gonna say 50 millimeter the five millimeter grid paper but it has this lovely orange border around it if you've seen any packaging from plotter you've actually seen a little bit of it but the iconic original box is just pure orange with black accents um and this year it's um a gray box for the fifth anniversary just for this um ring organizer but usually all of the plotters come in this red no not red orange box um and I feel like this paper references like the branding of Plotter really well. And I, I know it's not super practical because you lose, I guess, one block all around the perimeter of um, your page. But I mean, I'm not writing to that uh, part of the page anyways. So it just adds a nice little pop of color. I really do need to be mindful with how I use this because I don't have that much of it i have you know that one paper pad um but it's not you know super easy to come by now so um i think if you're on the plotter website there's still a few more um, i think i'm gonna grab another one just because it's so cool even if you don't use a plotter but you use a personal or bible size ring organizer this would be a lovely like accent to um your pages even if you're just writing notes it's gonna really stand out and then lastly, this is a little bit of a, I guess it's, I think it's pretty cool. This is um, a memo pad, but it's, um, it fits into your ring organizer and it's orangey yellow. I can't get over how cool this is. Again, this is one of those things where I wish I bought two of the, uh, two of these things, but I only bought one. I'm trying not to hoard too much. So I'm trying to let go of that. So I only bought one of these, but I like how you can kind of just put one of these little um, memo sheets and then it's just in there. You can have a little note. If there's something important that you don't want to forget, you can just use one of these and highlight it um, on um, like your ring organizer by having it like right smack dab in the center. But I think it's super cool and useful. 
Um, and then we have, again, our next item is these leather uh, page finders. So these are similar to the clear plastic kind of rulers or bookmarks that are popular in with ring organizers. But this um, is just made out of leather and it doesn't have the notches that would normally be associated with this type of um, like page finder. A lot of those page finders that are made out of plastic can just snap in and out of your ring organizer really easily. So you don't have to actually open the rings. This one you would really have to, but I've actually, um, I think, asked um, a good friend, April, who asked... Um, the uh the the company the because april works for design fill um which is under which is the umbrella company of plotter and they said that they don't recommend um cutting notches in these because leather is definitely uh more pliable than plastic and so it'll easily fall out if we add notches so i was actually going to do that i was going to just cut these notches so it's easy to put in and out of spreads but um, i'm glad that i double checked with people who are actually part of this company um, so that i can um, avoid um, wasting this lovely lovely um, page finder i really really like this um, i think it's because it's made out of out of leather and it just fits into the ethos of plotter really well it's just really sleek but really well made and very functional which um, which is what I associate plotter with um, and I think that just about does it with all of the accessories that came with the fifth anniversary plotter I think I purchased a few more things that I'll show in um, the ending bits of this video but I kind of want to show you how I roughly set this up for next year and to tell you more about my setup but this is again a formative discussion of how this is going to be set up because even two months from filming this i still am up in the air about how i want to set this up for next year so my rough plan for one of my plotters the fifth anniversary edition is to have two monthly calendars and two weekly calendars i know it's not going to all fit in there uh, but i want to do it anyways um, and I want the first half of the binder to have my work stuff and my second half to have my Job's journal slash personal planner stuff and I'm just gonna keep the whole year in the monthly for both sections and then keep two to three months of the weeklies for both the work part and the Job's journal slash personal part and I'm gonna see how it goes um, you can see me kind of using and opening all the other minor accessories that I purchased because I did buy this yellow plotter back in August this is a custom um, order from plotter at the sf pen show where i got to choose the leather and all the finishings uh but i still haven't used it because i didn't have any inserts and uh they were sold out of uh inserts for the longest time on plotter so i just waited until it was um feasible for me to purchase them and i purchased them at the same time as the fifth anniversary um but i bought some band with lifters and a pen holder and the yellow one is set up for testing for this year i've actually been playing around with uh, my future 2022 setup that I just talked about earlier but right now you can see I have both the two weeklies and the two monthlies I don't know if this is ridiculous tell me if this is something that you've done before because I am very curious and I don't know how this is going to work out but um, 2023 is all about experimenting with ring organizers as planners so I'm ready to dive I was gonna say head first but is it feet first I'm ready to dive head first feet first is the safe way to do it sorry that's like the opposite of the saying um, i'm ready to dive head first into uh, this new and strange world of ring organizers i've kind of dabbled in it with the mini 5 but the mini 5 is more of like a small everyday carry and so it was really easy to uh use because it's just so tiny you just need bare bones um inserts you just need like basically memo sheets uh but for this one you have to be a little bit more thoughtful luckily plotter and any personal size ring inserts fit in here so i can play around with the plethora of inserts that are available not only in the north american market but the japanese market which is huge and has a lot of um, inserts for the personal slash bible size so i will update you in my ring organizer journey i know this is not everyone's cup of tea because we love hobonichis we love you know the weeks the cousin the traveler's notebook uh the jiban techos there's so many other planning systems and rings are kind of i guess a lot of people's last options but um since i've never had a ring uh planner before this i'm really excited to dive uh, 
I'm head first. Is it feet first? It's head first. Head first into this new journey. Uh, but let me know in the comments if you are going to be using a ring organizer and which one. If not, let me know what you're using as your planner for 2022. No, 2023. And I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Jobrangheh. Bye-bye.